Hi, welcome to Red Stag Timber. Today you'll complete our safety induction prior to starting work. You will have already provided any relevant training records and approved drug test results. During the induction video, there will be questions to answer correctly in order to progress. Please follow the prompts. Once your induction is completed and submitted, you'll be sent an email confirming that your site access is approved and how to obtain your access card. Site access will be valid for up to two years when required to work on site, or access may be set for a fixed time frame according to your contract. We look forward to seeing you soon. We all have responsibilities under the Health and Safety at Work Act 2015 and its associated regulations. It is important we understand what those responsibilities are. As the principal, Red Stag Timber must ensure your work here is done safely and the equipment you use is safe. We must also ensure that the environment you work in does not adversely affect your health. Under the Health and Safety at Work Act 2015, you are responsible to keep yourself safe and ensure that the work you do does not cause harm to anyone else. It is also important to remember this includes any action or inaction which may cause harm. For example, failing to replace guards on machinery or not putting up barriers around holes. To help you carry out your work to the required standard, there are specific regulations, industry standards and codes of practice or guidelines for most types of work. These should be read through regularly and need to be followed at all times. To help us confirm that you are competent to do specialised work, you will need to produce verification of relevant training qualifications. You are required to comply with any reasonable instruction given by your employer or by a Red Stag Timber Supervisor. The Contractor Handbook can be found under the Contractors section on our website. We encourage you to download this and keep it with you when working on site. In an emergency, people are our first priority and our security team will instruct you on what to do. We strongly suggest that you save Red Stag Security's number into your mobile phone. Trained first aiders are working in most areas. Security also has a mobile kit, including a defibrillator, used in the event a person's heart may have stopped. In the event of a serious injury, ring security with a clear description of your exact work location on site. Remember, it is important to remain calm when making an emergency call so that security can understand the information you are relaying. Contractors should ensure they have first aid supplies readily available. For example, keep a kit and emergency blanket in your work vehicle. Fire alarms, extinguishers and fire hoses are located in most buildings around site. It is important for you to familiarise yourself with these in your immediate area of work. If you activate the area fire alarm, you also need to immediately call the site emergency number and advise security of your location and situation. If evacuation alarms are activated, stop work and move immediately to the nearest area assembly point. Report to the area warden, who will take your name and give you further instructions if required. Do not re-enter the work area until the all clear has been given. In the event of a site-wide evacuation, a loud civil defence siren will sound for approximately three minutes. Move immediately to your nearest assembly point and report to the area warden. After roll call, you will be directed as a group to the site evacuation assembly point at the far side of the main car park. Remember, do not re-enter the site until all clear is given by senior management. In order for us to prevent harm to you and others on site, you are required to report all near-miss incidents, hazards or potential hazards, damage to company property and any environmental incidents. All work-related injuries, no matter how minor, must be reported immediately to your Red Stag job supervisor and medical attention will be sought if required. 
All other incidents need to be reported as soon as possible, by the end of the shift, and the area made safe. The scene of an accident, if someone is hurt, should be secured until a senior manager and the HS team can assess the situation. Incident and injury forms can be found in each area lunchroom. Notification to WorkSafe regarding an incident that may be considered serious harm should be discussed with the Red Stag Timber Health and Safety Team. The h &S Manager or Site Safety Manager are contactable by phone through the Red Stag Security Office. Medical information relating to the injury will be requested to complete our investigation. Before starting any work, it is important to identify the risks you may be exposed to whilst doing that work. Take the time to assess any possible risks according to severity and frequency of exposure. If the risks are significant, you need to put controls in place to reduce the likelihood of harm. There are a number of tools to do this, including a job safety analysis, hazard ID or take five exercise. The process is the same for all and it will be up to you as to which tool you use. But all contractors must have a risk assessment process. Your Red Stag job supervisors are able to help. It is important to monitor your risk controls to ensure they work effectively. If you are working in a team, everyone should be involved as everyone's input is important. If any risks you identify are out of your control, such as operational activities, Seek advice from your Red Stag supervisor before commencing work. Part of the risk assessment will be identifying work that requires personal protective equipment. PPE requirements Red Stag has generic site hazards which are present in most areas. These include mobile plant, noise and timber processing, or machinery risks. Wearing high-vis clothing, safety boots, hard hats, class 5 earmuffs and safety glasses will therefore be required to be worn. For high-risk non-routine work such as hot work or work to be done at height, extra protection and equipment will be required. Machine safety. Before commencing machine maintenance or installation work, ensure all related forms of energy that may power the equipment have been isolated correctly. Apply correct lockout and isolation controls. Always check firstly with your Red Stag job supervisor the location of the controls. Isolation schedules are available from your Red Stag job supervisor and include all electrical switches, hydraulic, pneumatic, steam and fluid valves. Where there may be stored energy, such as hydraulic pressure, this is to be released prior to starting work. Once equipment is isolated, your named padlock needs to be applied to that isolator switch, so that it cannot be switched back on. Prior to starting work, ensure isolation has been achieved by checking firstly that the area is clear of any other workers. When safe to do so, Attempt to start the machine to see that there is zero energy. Electrical power tools. It is important that any electrical power tools you bring onto site are fit for purpose and safe to use for the task that they were designed for. Pre-start checks for damage or faults should be carried out before they are used. Power tools, including extension leads, need to display current safety tags issued by a registered electrician. If they are not fit for use, they need to be removed from site. Live wires are our authorised on-site electrical service provider and can be contacted by radio for any electrical work. <laughs> Driving on site. As you drive along Waipa State Mill Road, the maximum speed limit is 50 kilometres per hour. This drops down to 30 km per hour as you enter the main parking area in front of reception. Heavy truck traffic is frequent on this road and within the car park itself. Please take caution on the road and keep to the speed limits. Anyone operating mobile plant must produce their licence and verification of training before they drive on site. 
While on site, the maximum speed limit for all vehicles is 25 km per hour. For laden forklifts, this is reduced to 15 km per hour. There will be times when you need to reduce your speed further, when pedestrians or other mobile plant are in the area, or because of weather or road conditions. During the autumn and winter months, Waipa Valley is prone to dense fog and heavy rain. If you are granted site vehicle access, remember to have your headlights and hazard lights switched on around site. Keep left as much as possible and give way to all forklifts, loaders and large site-based trucks. These may be operating on site 24-7. When exiting the site in a vehicle, it is standard practice for security staff to check vehicles. Expect this to happen. Pedestrians must give way to all vehicles. Stay at least three metres clear of working mobile plant. Remember, drivers of mobile plant and trucks have very restricted vision from their cabs. Always assume the driver cannot see you. Always try to establish eye contact and wave, then wait for the driver to acknowledge you. Restricted areas. There are areas on site where access is restricted to only those who have written authorization from the Red Stag area manager to work there. These areas are high risk due to heavy traffic movements and include the log yard, energy center, kilns, shavings corral, the coastal vehicle entrance, the dispatch yard and the quarry. Please stay out of these areas if you are not authorized. Refer to your contractor handbook for more details. IT security to protect our computer systems. If you need to bring an electronic device on site, you must obtain approval from your Red Stag job supervisor or manager, as the device must be checked for viruses before connecting to our computer system. Smoking on site. Fire is one of the highest risks to our business. To reduce the risk, smoking is only permitted in the designated smoking areas. Smoking is not permitted in any vehicle on site. Smoking is only permitted during authorised breaks. Always ensure cigarette butts are discarded in the metal ashtrays provided and that these ashtrays are not used as rubbish bins. Drug and Alcohol Policy Red Stag Timber operates a drug and alcohol free work environment. Bringing any alcohol or illegal substances onto the site is strictly prohibited. Contractors that require unsupervised site access must first provide negative drug test results verified by the ESR Laboratory or TDDA. Tests should be completed within two weeks prior to starting work. Site access will be denied for any result that exceeds the cutoff levels and confirms a non-negative result. This policy is to protect all other workers from harm due to possible impairment. Red Stag will require post-incident drug testing in most instances. If it is suspected a worker is under the influence, reasonable cause drug or alcohol testing may be carried out and that person stood down immediately until the results are confirmed. Environmental safety. Red Stag Timber is committed to maintaining the highest standard of environmental performance. Environmental incidents can place the Waipa site, surrounding communities and people at risk. Red Stag Timber must adhere to strict council consent requirements. If you become aware of possible environmental impacts in your work area, report any incidents as soon as possible to your Red Stag supervisor or our environmental team. Waste Management Red Stag demands a high standard of housekeeping and waste disposal. Poor housekeeping is still regarded as the leading cause of accidents in the workplace. To help maintain this high standard, we have placed a range of waste bins around the site. The red bins are used for general rubbish and solid waste. We have a strong commitment to recycle what we can. The green bins are used for recyclable, untreated and denailed timber only. 
The contents are used for fuel at our energy centre. The blue bins are only to be used for any scrap metal. There are also recycle cages used for cardboard and small green plastic bins used for paper and plastic. Chemicals on site. Red Stag Timber is certified under the HSNO Act and has strict compliance requirements. Hazardous substances or chemicals cannot be brought onto site without prior written approval from your Red Stag supervisor and the environmental department. A safety data sheet is required to accompany all substances, chemicals brought onto the site. All chemicals must be clearly labelled. All chemicals must be stored in accordance with the safety data sheet. Do not use or handle hazardous substances unless you have been trained in their use and always use the recommended safety equipment. Consult an approved handler or your Red Stag supervisor if further guidance is required for any chemical handling. Dealing with spills. Stormwater drains connect to the Waipa stream and flow onto Lake Rotorua. If chemicals get into the stream or lake, they could pose a health risk to the community and wildlife. Only clean rainwater is to go down stormwater drains on site. We therefore must keep all areas around drains clear of sawdust, wood chips or rubbish. Check with your Red Stag supervisor that the area you are working in has a chemical emergency response plan and familiarise yourself with its content. If you are unfortunate enough to have a chemical or oil spill, for example a damaged chemical container, a burst hydraulic hose or oil leak, our first priority is ensuring workers are safe. Next, we must prevent all chemical oil spills from entering the stormwater system or waterways. Spill kits are available in each area around the site. Check with your Red Stag supervisor where the area spill kit is located if you are using or handling chemicals. These waterproof spill kits contain dry sawdust or sand and have stormwater drain covers attached. The drain covers should be placed over the affected drain and a dam of sawdust or sand applied. The rest of the sawdust or sand can be placed over the oil or chemical spill to help contain and absorb it. If you have to use a spill kit, please ensure the incident is reported to your Red Stag supervisor immediately and fill out an incident report form. For the safe disposal of contaminated sawdust, check with your Red Stag supervisor. Your personal health and well-being is also important to us. Keeping well and fit helps to reduce the risk of injury. For site-based employees or contractors, we have a small fitness centre and also lend out mountain bikes for personal use. If interested, please contact Human Resources. High risk activity. There are a number of high risk work activities that regularly take place on our site. We need to ensure work is done safely and does not adversely affect other workers or the environment. Hot work includes any work that may create heat, sparks or open flame, such as grinding or welding. Before you carry out any hot work on site, you must first complete a hot work training session. Once ready to start the hot work, first you must request a hot work permit through an approved Red Stag permit issuer. This will be issued once the area has been checked and all pre-work precautions are in place. This permit will also include a checklist of what you need to do before you leave site. Working at height. On Red Stag site, if you are working at a height of 2 metres or more, you need to complete a working at height permit. This must be approved by your Red Stag job supervisor. No matter what height you're working at, please ensure that you have a suitable platform in place. This could be a scaffold, a mobile elevated work platform such as a scissor lift or boom lift. A ladder can be used but it should be considered as a last resort because falls from ladders make up the highest cause of height related injuries. All ladders being used on site must be tagged as checked and safe to use. 
If you plan to use fall prevention equipment such as a harness, safety lines or work from mobile elevated work platforms, verification of training and competency needs to be shown to your Red Stag job supervisor. Certification should preferably be NZQA accredited. A safety harness needs to be worn not only in boom lifts, but also scissor lifts that have certified anchor points installed. A risk assessment must be completed prior to starting work and attached to the work site. Remember to reassess the risks if any conditions change. Confined spaces. For any work carried out in a confined space, a permit is required. This will include confirming in your job safety analysis that atmospheric monitoring, isolation requirements and an emergency rescue plan is in place. The permit must then be approved by your Red Stag job supervisor. If you are not sure about any condition relating to the job, stop and ask. There are various areas on site with known soil contamination. If you are going to dig a hole, move soil or otherwise disturb the ground, an excavation and groundwork permit will be required prior to starting work. Your Red Stag job supervisor will cover your responsibilities before issuing the permit. The environmental team can also assist. Specific PPE requirements are in place for handling contaminated material. Ensure you adhere to these requirements. Before any earthwork is undertaken, it is important to locate any underground services such as gas lines, sewers, electrical power cables and telecommunication lines. Check with your Red Stag supervisor for a copy of the site plan. Excavation sites should also have a traffic management plan in place to separate people and other site traffic from the work being undertaken. Any visual barriers need to be visible both day and night due to the 24-7 operations on site. Soil Disposal Red Stag operates two separate landfills. Landfill A is for contaminated material and Landfill B is for non-contaminated material only. Red Stag has to comply with strict council requirements for operating these landfills. Before disposing of any material on site, please check with your Red Stag supervisor. Crane Work Crane work is another high-risk activity that requires careful management. A documented work plan is required which includes a lift plan, job safety analysis and evidence of certified operators and dogmen. Ensure a traffic management plan is also in place. You will receive contact from Red Stag Security to confirm your induction is completed. A time will be arranged for you to attend the security hut located in the main car park to check your photo identification, bring a driver's license with you, update any of your work or contact details and confirm expected work arrangements provide you with an authorised site access card with photo taken for contractors, provide you with a current contractor handbook which will show site maps, rules and obligations, answer any other queries you may have. Thanks for taking part in our safety induction today. We look forward to your commitment to workplace safety here at Red Stag.